Hello and welcome. In this session and in this series, we are going to learn about Kubernetes from scratch. Kubernetes is a Greek word for hemsman or captain of a ship. And if you look at the logo of Kubernetes, it represents the helmsman wheel or the steering of a ship. Also, Kubernetes is referred to K8s or K8s and that is because there are eight characters between K and S and therefore we also refer Kubernetes as K8s. In this session and in this series, I am going to go very basic from scratch and we will learn Kubernetes step by step and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started. Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and I am a teacher. You can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we are going to go very basic and we will learn what is Kubernetes, what is container orchestration engine and why do we need Kubernetes. And do not worry if you have no prior knowledge on this topic or any of these terms. I will go from very basic and very scratch and by the end of this session, you will know everything about the basics of Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a container management tool or container orchestration tool. It is also referred to as container orchestration engine and in a moment I will tell you what is container orchestration tool. It was developed by Google Lab and later it was donated to CNCF. CNCF is Cloud Native Computing Foundation and it is now managed by CNCF. It is open source and written with Go programming language or Golang and we know it is also called as K8s. Now let us understand what is container management tool or container orchestration tool. So a container management tool manages containerized application. If you do not know what is containerized application, I will tell you in a moment. So if we look at the definition, container management or orchestration tool or engine automates deploying, scaling and managing containerized applications. And one of the most popular container management tool is Kubernetes and we have some other platforms like Docker Swarm and Apache Mesos Marathon. So all of these are container orchestration or container management tools. Now Kubernetes we know is a container management tool that manages containerized applications and by managing containerized application I mean manages applications available on a container platform like Docker and the different processes it takes care in this management are deploying, scheduling, scaling, load balancing etc. Now let us understand what are containerized applications. If you are watching this tutorial there are high chances that you know about containerized applications and you know about platforms like Docker. But let us very quickly see what are containerized applications. And for that, let us understand a container platform like Docker. So in containerization, a developer packages the application along with all its dependencies and libraries and the entire environment in a box that we call as container. And this can be then shipped using a container platform like Docker and then it can be deployed on different systems or platforms. Now one of the advantages of doing this kind of a deployment is because we know the application is available along with all its environment and dependencies so it will work fine on every system and the issue of application working on one system and not working on other system is taken care of using containerization. So Docker is a tool designed to make it easier to deploy and run applications by using containers and containers allow a developer to package application with all its dependencies and all its parts and ship it out as a single package. So now we know what are containers and what is containerization. Let us now understand what is Kubernetes and where does it fit into the picture. Now we have seen the advantages of containerization. However, in real world, it is not a single container that we use. Large organizations use multiple containers for every applications and there are tens and hundreds of containers used for every application. And this is done to ensure availability. 
so that the application is always available and to take care of load balancing so that not a single server has a lot of load and the load is distributed properly we also have to take care of scaling up and scaling down based on a user load and therefore we use multiple containers or a cluster of containers now in this scenario where we have so many containers we have to take care of a lot of processes like deploying of applications on multiple containers and then on multiple servers scheduling the deployment and other processes scaling up and scaling down based on the user needs or the load on the servers load balancing so that we distribute the load among all the servers and all the platforms we have to take care of batch execution processes rollbacks and monitoring of all these containers now all these processes will be very difficult if you want to do it manually and will also not be very efficient so we need a automated system or we need a tool that can take care of all these processes in an automated way and therefore we have container management tools or container orchestration engines and out of all the container management tools kubernetes is most popular and widely used and we have others like docker swarm and apache mesos marathon and some others as well so now we know kubernetes is a container orchestration engine that takes care of management of containerized apps and by management we mean it takes care of all these processes for containerized apps so now i hope you can understand this slide what is kubernetes and why it is used so by now you should have a good knowledge on what is kubernetes what is container orchestration engine and why do we need kubernetes in the coming sessions we will go more deeper and understand about kubernetes features kubernetes architecture and we will also do practicals with kubernetes i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching